Two very One. elite robots. Fight, yes, robots, fight. One of these robots will be going home. The other one moves on to face Eruption in the next round. And this is looking pretty familiar right now to a fight we saw not too terribly long ago. Yeah, it's like the bizarro version of it, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. Silent Spring and Polywog fought earlier in the day. Vespula is an older version of Polywog in a lot of ways. Yeah, very similar design-wise. Interesting. One of the big things uh, that I really love about Silent X and Silent Spring today are the shuffling, uh, you know, legs here. Silent Spring is not running wheels. It is running a walking mechanism. That and walking mechanism affords him a full extra pound of weight, which in the three-pound division is a massive amount. It's a lot. It's it a lot. really helps them keep the bot on the ground while they're delivering these massive hits. Normally, what we used to see in the silent line of bots is they would make a hit, and they would fly just as far as their opponent after they made contact. That's, that problem has really been solved by this shuffler mechanism, and it's worked so efficiently, it's really hard to distinguish it from the wheeled robots in this competition. Now with this undercutter, you want to get under Vespula and start eating away at those wheels. Basically the exact same thing that Silent Spring did with Polywog. You can see Silent X hanging back and the drive very clearly impaired on Vespula. Vespula now up against the rail. Silent X is there just chewing away, taking its, uh, taking its shots. You can see little bits of uh, green tire being sprayed around inside of the box. Silent X, one of those bots that was almost designed to, uh, to fight against one of these, uh, you know, two-wheel uh, vertical uh, bar or egg beaters. Uh, and you're, we see why. We see why there were so many different design decisions built into Silent X. Vespula now stuck up against the rail. It's going to get its free unstick from Bert with 35 seconds left. Oh, there we go. Silent X just going straight face first. Ooh, missed the mark miss on there. that one, yeah. Can't hit them all. But the, uh, the drivability and the uh, reliability of Silent X is really showing through here in this match. 15 seconds left. This is a loser's bracket round five match to remember. And it looks like uh, we are gonna be bidding an early farewell to Vespula here. Two, one, that's the match. Turn off your weapons and drive to the door if you can. I guess walk to the door if you're Silent X. Yeah, do a little, do a little shuffle dance, oof. So what do you say, Ginger? Did uh, Vespula suffer enough for you? <laughs> uh, Thumbs up for suffering, no? Oh no, can they hear me? Uh, they might be a little bit too busy right now. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna say thumbs up for suffering, Kyle. Uh, there was plenty of it in that <laughs> match, for sure. Yeah. All right, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the judges. Uh, they're gonna deliberate. Whew, I don't know. Maybe it's not a 5-0, but uh, it's pretty darn close. Yeah, pretty close. Oh, it is 5-0. It's 5-0, Chris, look at those. Wow. wow. Yeah. Unanimous judges' decision for Silent X, which advantage?